Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We have been reading in the book of Numbers. Now, last time we read Numbers chapter 3. Numbers chapter 3 was about the census of the Levites. And now we're ready to read Numbers chapter 4. I am reading from the Amplified Bible. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Take a census of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi by their families, clans, by their fathers' households, from thirty years old and upward, even to fifty years old, all who enter the service to do the work in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle. This is the work and responsibility of the sons of Kohath in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, the most holy things. When the camp prepares to move out, Aaron and his sons shall come into the sanctuary and take down the veil, the curtain, screening off the Holy of Holies and cover the Ark of the Testimony with it. And they shall put on it a covering of porpoise skin, fine leather, and shall spread over that a cloth of pure blue and shall insert the carrying poles of the ark. Over the table of the bread of the presence they shall spread a cloth of blue, and put on it the plates, the dishes for incense, the sacrificial bowls, the jars for the drink offering, and the continual bread of the presence shall be on it. They shall spread over them a cloth of scarlet, and cover that with a covering of porpoise skin, and they shall insert its carrying poles. Then they shall take a blue cloth and cover the lampstand for the light along with its lamps, its wick cutters, its trays, and all the oil vessels by which it is supplied. And they shall put the lampstand and all its utensils in a covering of porpoise skin and shall put it on the carrying bars. Over the golden incense altar, They shall spread a blue cloth and cover it with a covering of porpoise skin and shall insert its carrying poles. And they shall take all the utensils of the service with which they minister in the sanctuary and put them in a blue cloth and cover them with a covering of porpoise skin and put them on the carrying bars. Then they shall clean away the ashes from the altar of burnt offering and spread a purple cloth over it. They shall also put on it all its utensils with which they minister in connection with it, the pans, the meat forks, the shovels, the basins, and all the utensils of the altar, and they shall spread a covering of porpoise skin over it, and insert its carrion poles. When Aaron and his sons have finished covering the sanctuary and all its furniture, As the camp sets out, after all that is done, but not before, the sons of Kohath shall come to carry them, using the poles, so that they do not touch the holy things and die. These are the things in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, which the sons of Kohath are to carry. So it's worth noting here how they are supposed to do this. There's a way that they are getting things ready to travel. And the sons of Kohath are not to touch these things. They are only to touch the carrying poles and carry them. Now this comes up later in the future, in future readings that we will do. We will see where someone, and I've forgotten the person's name right this moment, but they read because the ark is being, being, uh, it's being moved incorrectly and they reach out to steady the ark to keep it from falling but because they're doing everything incorrectly and this person reaches out and touches it well they touch the ark and they're not supposed to and they die it's just something to be aware of they had specific ways they did all of this with the tabernacle and here those duties are being laid out and they're being told how to do this let's continue on the responsibility of eleazar the son of aaron the priest is the oil for the light, the fragrant incense, the continual grain offering, and the anointing oil, the responsibility of all the tabernacle and everything that is in it, with the sanctuary and its furnishings. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, 
Do not cut off, eliminate, destroy the tribe of the families of the Kohathites, who are only Levites and not priests, from among the Levites by exposing them to the sin of touching the most holy things. But deal with them in this way so that they may live and not die when they approach the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in and assign each of them to his specific work and to his load to be carried on the march. But the Kohathites shall not go in to see the holy things, even for an instant, or they will die. So only the priests, even though these other Levites are Levites, but they're not priests, and they are allowed, of course, to have some function. They are not allowed to see or touch the holy things. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take a census of the sons of Gershon, also by their father's households, by their families. From thirty years and upward to fifty years old, you shall number them, all who enter for service to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites in serving and in carrying when on the march. They shall carry the tent curtains of the tabernacle and the tent of meeting, its covering and the covering of porpoise skin, which is fine leather, that is on top of it, and the curtain for the doorway of the tent of meeting, tabernacle, and the hangings of the courtyard, and the curtain for the entrance of the gate of the courtyard, which is around the tabernacle and the altar, and their tent ropes, and all the equipment for their service, and all that is to be done they shall perform. Aaron and his sons shall direct all the service of the sons of the Gershonites, all they have to carry and all they have to do. You shall assign to them as a duty all that they are to carry on the march. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting, tabernacle, and their duties shall be under the direction of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the high priest. One thing I failed to mention, and I want to remind you, is that where it says porpoise skin, most likely we believe that is some sort of otter or beaver skin, something like that. It's some aquatic animal skin, and that uh, word that they're using is just not something that we know what it really means now. And for some reason, they've decided to translate that as porpoise skin and not exactly sure why that is. Maybe it just means aquatic animal of some kind. Nonetheless, wanted to mention that. And remember, this is all breaking down the tabernacle to move it. This is their mobile temple that they're using in their wanderings in the wilderness. And this is how they're going to break this down and carry it and move it from place to place each time. Let's continue on. As for the sons of Merari, you shall number them by their families, clans, by their father's households. From thirty years and upward to fifty years old, you shall number them. Everyone who enters the service to do the work of the tent of meeting, tabernacle. This is what they are assigned to carry on the march, according to all their service in the tent of meeting. The boards for the framework of the tabernacle and its bars and its pillars and its sockets or bases, and the pillars around the courtyard with their sockets or bases, and their pegs and their cords, tent ropes, with all their equipment and with all their accessories for service, and you shall assign each man by name the items he is to carry on the march. This is the work of the families of the sons of Merari, according to all their tasks in the tent of meeting, tabernacle, under the direction of Ithamar, the son of Aaron, the priest. So Moses and Aaron and the leaders of the congregation numbered the sons of Kohathites by their families, clans, and by their fathers' households, from thirty years and upward even to fifty years old. Everyone who enters the service to do the work in the tent of meeting, tabernacle, the men who were numbered by their families were two thousand seven hundred and fifty. 
These were numbered of the families of the Kohathites, all who did service in the tent of meeting, tabernacle, whom Moses and Aaron numbered according to the commandment of the Lord through Moses. The men who were numbered of the sons of Gershon by their families, clans, and by their fathers' households, from thirty years and upward even to fifty years, every one who entered the service to do the work in the tent of meeting, tabernacle, the men who were numbered by their families, by their fathers' households, were 2,630. These were numbered men of the families of the sons of Gershon who served in the tent of meeting, tabernacle, whom Moses and Aaron numbered just as the Lord had commanded. The men who were numbered of the sons of Merari, by their families, clans, by their fathers' households, from thirty years and upward even to fifty years old, Every one who entered the service for work in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle, the men who were numbered by their families were 3,200. These are the men who were numbered of the families of the sons of Merari, whom Moses and Aaron numbered in accordance with the commandment of the Lord through Moses. All the men who were numbered of the Levites whom Moses and Aaron and the leaders of Israel counted by their families, their clans, and by their fathers' households, from thirty years and upward even to fifty years old, every one who could enter to do the work of service and the work of carrying in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle. The men that were numbered were eight thousand five hundred and eighty. According to the commandment of the Lord through Moses, they were numbered, each assigned to his work of serving and carrying. Thus they were numbered by him just as the Lord had commanded Moses. So this has been Numbers chapter 4. This is all about assigning the work of breaking down the tabernacle. Who's going to do what? You know, who's going to carry the things relating to? So this is all about assignments and duties in relationship to breaking down the tabernacle for when the camp would move out, when they would be leaving and traveling to another area, to a, a further destination. So I want to thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.